This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Hello again, everyone. Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield, Frontier Regional, and the Frontier Red Hawks hosting the Turner's Falls Thunder tonight in a boys Hampshire League matchup. I'm Jeff Terrell, along with Chris Collins. Our studio producer is Dave Reno. The Turner's Falls Thunder had a four-game winning streak going until they ran up against the Green Wave of Greenfield High School at Nichols Gym last Thursday night, and the Thunder fell behind, and man, did they ever fall behind, to the tune of an 18 to nothing deficit. They got the deficit down tonight at one point, but they lose decisively. So, so goes their long winning streak. They come in with a 5-8 and eight record. They are right on that tournament bubble. They're on the wrong side of it right now, Chris. Frontier, on the other hand, you know, they went through a stretch where they were, uh, like Turner's Falls the other night, they were having a tough time early on. They were still winning, but man, a very, and not surprising that they won, but a 40-point blowout here at home against Pioneer. Yeah, they really corked it against Pioneer after coming off a couple of tough games where they did spot leads. And I think getting out early tonight is going to be important. Of course, Turner's comes in with only eight players, and Frontier has a very deep bench. So the numbers game certainly seems to favor the Red Hawks, but you never know. I mean, these two teams, is a great rivalry, and you never know what's going to happen in high school basketball. Turner's could steal them, but they got to play a perfect game. Turner's Falls does have capabilities offensively. Anthony Peterson, one of the top post players in the league, but of course he has a tough assignment tonight going up against 6'10", Peter Carey. He also has some good outside shooters, especially when you talk about Chase Novak. A little bit hot and cold this year. Chase got off to a very slow start at Greenfield the other night. They really uh, pretty much put the team on Mr. Peterson's shoulders, and he very nearly led them all the way back. But one good effort, uh, the two Driscoll brothers, you know, they don't get a lot of attention. You talk Turner's Falls basketball, you talk Peterson, obviously, Chase Novak, Marcus Sanders, all for good reason, but, uh, you know, the, the brothers are doing a really good job this year. Yeah, they are, and, they, and they, they play tough D, and they can score. In fact, we gave one of them player of the game the other night, and they're going to be very, very important because the, the pressure on the backcourt is going to be crucial if Turner's is going to stay in this game tonight. Frontier is very quick guards, and, they, and they're deep. They've got three or four really quick guys, and the Driscolls are going to have to, I think, guard them very, very well, and Chase Novak's got to be hot tonight. Yeah, and doing it for a full 32 minutes, that could definitely be a challenge tonight for the Thunder as well. And in terms of Frontier, I mean, you know, when you're ding up against these guys, pick your poison, because they have great post presence down there, and it's, uh, you know, they have several guards that can get it done from the outside, too, so really dealing with them, huge challenge. Absolutely, and I think if if Frontier comes out and does what they did against Pioneer, because that was a dunk fest, there were six or seven thunderous dunks as Frontier took advantage of the height that they had over Pioneer. Same situation here tonight, although Anthony Peterson is the one guy in there who caused some trouble. All right, so we look forward to this one. Turner's Falls, they would love to get the W here as they try to hang on in terms of postseason contention in Western Mass Division Four. A win tonight would be huge for them to achieve that objective. We'll take a time out here on our pregame show. When we come back, we'll Get an introduction of tonight's starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Frontier Red Hawks, Turner's Falls Thunder, next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza 
of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Thunder from Turner's Falls High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student-athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups for Turner's at guard, number 11, Marcus Sanders. At guard, number 23, Jaden Whiting. At center, number 33, Anthony Peterson. At forward, number 13, Brennan Driscoll. And at forward, number 10, Leon Driscoll. Turners is coached by Gary Mullins. And now for Frontier, at guard, number one, Ethan Mashaw. At guard, number 11, Brent Robinson. At center, number 21, Owen Wachowicz. At forward, number four, Donovan Hoffman. And at forward, number 13, Peter Carey. From here, he's coached by Ben Francesco. The officials for tonight's game are Matt Bell and Tim Sigda. Would you please rise for our national anthem? And with that, we're just about ready for basketball battle here in South Deerfield. You uh, may have heard as we came back out of commercial, they were introducing the Turner's Fall starting lineup. Chase Novak not starting tonight. Both Driscoll brothers will be starting. Again, they've been playing some really good basketball, and perhaps Gary Mullins and his assistant, Jay Limitanian, thinking maybe Novak might be a better option coming off the bench. I mean, he certainly he'll get his minutes, I would assume tonight anyway, but not getting the start. That is surprising. And, well, I mean, it, it may very well be that he wants to send a message quick defensively, and the Driscoll brothers play tough defense. I don't think that's necessarily a bad choice given this high-powered frontier offense. Okay, a nice crowd here tonight. Not as big as we had last Thursday night at Greenfield High School. That was a big crowd there for a rivalry game, and wasn't much of a game in the first and the fourth quarter. Greenfield dominated there. The two middle frames, it was Turner's Falls doing a good job of uh, trying to make a game of it. Peter Carey's going to come out and jump center against Anthony Peterson. And we play four eight-minute quarters with a 30-second shot clock. Turner's Falls in the visiting Royal Blue. Frontier in the home white with navy and red. Tip control by Frontier. They'll be moving towards the basket on our left as we are underway here at Goodno Gymnasium. Ethan Michon feeds it to Brett Robinson. They swing it left to Hoffman. Left corner to Michon. Wide open three. Off the back rim, no good. And the rebound is run down. And uh, Driscoll, unfortunately, was unable to corral it before and out of bounds. And that's Liam Driscoll, so we have to, have to say Liam or Brendan here. Robinson throws in the Michon. They swing it left side to Hoffman, well beyond the arc left side. Way on the right now, it's Michon. Dribbling away from Brendan Driscoll. Bounce pass to Robinson, left corner Hoffman. They dump it down low, Peter Carey, he's doubled. Feeds the pain, Wachowicz loses control as he went up. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Marcus Sanders at Turner's, it got poked away. And they're gonna say it's off Sanders. It was. So back to Frontier here. Marcus just could not quite corral that bouncing ball. They did a good job to clog that baseline and make it tough to make a pass interior-wise. Robinson throws in the Michon. Ethan holds there. Top of the key. 2-3 zone for Turner's right now. Hoffman 
And he dragged the, well, what do we got? No, he got a foul. He got contact before the, the travel. And we'll see who got the personal foul call. It's going to go on Brendan Driscoll, his first, team's first. So a new shot clock now for the Red Hawks. Michonne has it, center court circle, top of the key, jump pass right side to Robinson. Back to Michonne, a high post, it's Carey. Tried to dump it down low to Wachowicz. Poked away, recaptured by Carey. Michonne will drive through the paint. Gives it up to Peter Carey, right block, triple team. Gets it over, shot clock now down to 12. On the right side, coming through, Donovan Hoffman forcing the issue and drew the foul. That's gonna go against Peterson. Well, right now, Turner is defending Carey beautifully. You gotta make a physical contact with him, make him uncomfortable in the paint to really contain him. You're not gonna totally shut him down, but you can contain him if you hit him right. Two free throws for Donovan Hoffman. The first one is up, it rattles in. One nothing Frontier. Frontier's and controlled this ball for the last minute and six seconds. You know, ball control and possession is very important. They've dominated so far in this first minute. Second one on the way, that one's off the front rim, but the rebound tip, Wachowicz back to Carey. Nope. And a high pass, nearly thrown away. Nice save there by Ethan Mashan. Over on the left side, it's Donovan Hoffman. Left corner, it goes to Peter Carey. Peter is sealed off. They swing it out of the right side. Ethan Mashan fakes the three. He'll drive right baseline. And the runner is up and no good. And finally, a defensive rebound pulled down by Turner's Falls. Liam Driscoll. Now it's Brendan Driscoll, deep on the left side. Tried to feed his brother down low. Tipped away by Peter Carey. Loose ball picked up. Here's Brendan Driscoll. Goes up with the left hand. Misses on a wild shot. And the rebound cleared by Peter Carey. Mashan, left wing, cross court pass on the right. Hoffman will go baseline, gives it up in the paint, try to get the carry, poked away. Brendan Driscoll, bounce pass left side to Sanders, gets it to Liam Driscoll, a rainbow jumper from the free throw line is good. Good ball movement by Turners. Turners two, Frontier one, six minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Ethan Mashan, bottled up at the top of the key, gets it back. And a nice steal by Sanders as they try to get it to Wachowicz. Sanders, coast to coast, puts it up no good. But a blocking foul is going to be called against Michonne. Well, feeding the paint is clearly not working for Frontier. And Anthony Peterson's fired up. He just ran over to two of his teammates. Turner's came to play tonight. Frontier cannot take these guys lightly. They may have eight on the bench. But uh, they're a good basketball team. And if they start making their shots... First free throw is good. That makes it 3-1 Turners. One more for Sanders. Yeah, this is a team that was stumbling along with just one win. They were the best one win team I'd ever seen. And then they started stockpiling some Ws. Second free throw is good. Turners falls four. Frontier one. 5.45 to play here in the opening quarter. Ethan Mashan takes it across, looking for some help. Has it top of the key. Bounce pass, left wing goes to Hoffman. Try to get it down the walk, which you're right, Chris, not working. Turner's Falls is reading that every time. Every single time. I don't know why they keep doing it. Brendan Driscoll continues to impress. Has it right now on the right side. Jump pass down low, tipped away, out of bounds off Peter Carey. Turner's Falls will keep it 19 to shoot. Now you know why you got the start. I mean, those guys are doing the job. You go with your hot hand. You earn your playing time, no doubt. Inbounding the ball on the baseline. And on the right side, Jaden Whiting. Between the circles it goes. On the right side, Anthony Peterson holding shot clock down the eight. They dump the pass down low to Whiting. Back to Sanders, through a triple team. Off balance shot is good. Little jump step by Marcus. Planted it nicely. With the shot clock winding down. Bounce pass on the right side, it's Donovan Hoffman. Jump pass left side. This is Ethan Mashan into the paint. Jump pass left side to Robinson. Shot clock down to 12 now. On the right side, Hoffman. Turner's fall is really packing it in defensively, doing a great job. Shot clock down to six. Hoffman with an NBA three, it's good. That was way out there. Way out there, and they're lucky they got that shot off. 6-4 Turners, four and a half to play here in the first quarter. Sanders, deep on the right, guarded by Mashon. They set a screen for him, they can't do much with it. Peter Carey was right there as they switched off. Deep on the left side, Peterson's gonna take a deep three. That is good. Ooh, AP from downtown. Turners nine, Frontier four. Four ten to play here in the opening quarter. Much better start for Turners. At this point against Greenfield, they were down about 12-0. It got worse. Robinson deep on the left. Left corner, 
Donovan Hoffman hit that big three a moment ago. They dump it down low. Peter Carey poked away nicely by Peterson out of bounds. It's off of Anthony. Look, he is, you're right. He is fired up. He came to play tonight. That's what you got to do. You got to bump him around. And they're going to take him out. And they're going to try and get some different look in there. They're going to bring in Boudreaux. Actually going to keep Carey out there and take out Dehoff and Walkowitz and Mashan. And Haneski's in there for Frontier, too. So this is a look. Richter out there as well. The inbound to Boudreaux deep in the left corner. Richter, they swing it right side. Robinson will take an NBA three. It's good. Uh, you give him the three, he can knock it down from out there. Turner's nine, Frontier seven. 3.40 to play here in the first quarter. Top of the key is Sanders. Marcus tells Anthony Peterson, no, I don't want your screen. Go back down low. Now he'll take a screen. They're trying to work a pick and roll. Didn't really work. They get it down low, and Sanders with a wild shot. Tip follow by Liam Driscoll. It's good, and he's fired up as he heads down court. I tell you, Turner's game hopped up. Frontier better not be laying back. Haneski between the circles. Bounce pass right side to Richter. Long pass over to Robinson. Back to Haneski. Top of the key. On the right wing, Richter's going to launch a three. Front rim no good. Rebound. Boudreaux to Peter Carey. Banks at home, and that's foul number two. I believe against Anthony Peterson, or did they get Driscoll? And that's the first clean look that, that Peter Carey has had inside, and he made it count. That is two on Peterson, three team fouls on Turner's. Free throw is in the air, and it is good. Three-point play by Peter Carey. It's now 11-10 Turner's. They have led almost two out. Frontier led one nothing, and Turner's falls took the lead from there. They're just... Doing a really fine job so far. Brendan Driscoll gets it back. And gets it to Sanders who calls out triangle. So they're gonna run some sort of play involving a triangle. They get it down the left side. Loose ball on the floor. Picked up by Liam Driscoll. Gets the shot off over Peter Curry, but it missed wildly. And now Frontier with a chance to reclaim the lead for the first time since it was one nothing. But they throw the ball away. Liam Driscoll gets it. Turner's Falls crowd calling for a foul as they felt like Peterson got hacked on the way down. Deep on the left side, Driscoll's gonna take a three in and out no good by Liam Driscoll. Frontier gets it back, 2.15 to play in the quarter. Turner's leading by one. Richter, pass goes off the knee of the Turner's Falls player, Whiting, and the Thunder comes away with it. Play getting a little ragged here now. Sanders is gonna slow it down. Walks it across the timeline, top of the key. Liam Driscoll on the left side, now it's Anthony Peterson. Holding there, puts it to the floor, working on carry, loses control, ball goes out of bounds. And he let it go, he felt like it was off a frontier player, he should not have made that assumption. Checking out is Brendan Driscoll, and Chase Novak checks in for the first time. I also think he got hit, I think he thought he was fouled on the way through, he may have had a point. 11-10, Turner's with the lead, 145 to play here in the first quarter. Haneski, bounce pass left side to Robinson. They work it right side now to Richter. They get it down low to Boudreaux. Turns, fires, good. Frontier retakes the lead, 12-11, a minute 30 to play here in the opening quarter here in South Deerfield. Sanders walks it across, picked up by Hineski, looking towards the right. Now he'll go left, nearly bounced it off his own foot. Chase Novak's gonna go left baseline, gets it top of the key. Liam Driscoll foul the line jumper is short. Robinson gets the deep rebound. Brett runs it up on the right, right in front of the scores table. Stops there. Haneski, top of the key. Bounce pass left side, Richter. Into the left corner. Peter Carey gets it to Boudreaux. Left the lane. Try to get it right back down to Peter, but tipped away. Colin Boudreaux gets it over. Shot clock down to 12. Haneski, he'll square up for three. Left side, in and out. Now good. Boudreaux, the rebound to Carey. Goes in. The leaner is good, and a foul is going to be called. And let's see, I think it was on Liam Driscoll, it was. And count the bucket makes it 14-11. And Ben Barshevsky's gonna uh, get a couple more guys. Gabe is going to come in now. And it looks like Peter Carey's gonna sit in a second here as they're gonna get Jones Thompson in if he makes this free throw. It's in the air, it is good, so he'll come off. Jones Thompson in. Again, just the number of bodies that Ben Barshevsky can go to, and not guys that just take up space out there. I mean, his second unit can play too. No they can't, doubt about that. I think he's looking for a combination that's gonna work. 15-11, Frontier with their biggest lead. Frontier led by as many as five. 
Deep in the left side, Chase Novak, top of the key. Throws left side, three point bomb put up by Sanders, a little bit short, gets his own rebound. New shot clock for the Thunder. Shot clock and game clock pretty much in unison right now. 15-11, Frontier, Whiting. Gets it over. Ryan Duclos. Oh, he snuck into the game. Chase Novak cutting into the paint. Up fakes. Beautiful spin move. Gets the leaner. Wow. Well, Novak off the bench making some things happen. Nine seconds left of the quarter. Frontier's lead is two. Haneski. That's a kick. Whoa. The ball ends up into the student section over the Frontier bench. It ended up like five rows in. So with 4.3 seconds left, Frontier will inbound right in front of us. Haneski will throw in, pounds the ball, waiting for somebody to get open. Left side, it's Richter, three seconds, two, one, tipped away, and the ball is up right in front of us, and that'll do it. End of one here in South Deerfield, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Frontier Red Hawks 15, the Turner's Falls Thunder 13. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. All right, Jaden Whiting inbounds the ball right in front of us. Second quarter is underway. Whoa. A lot of contact right at center court with Ryan Duclos. Reverse lay-in, nicely done there by Sanders. He's so athletic, that kid. Game is tied at 15. On the right side, Colin Boudreau with an open jumper. A little bit too strong. Gachinski, though, skies for the rebound. Nice job there by Dade. Hustle points there from Double G. Ian Spirits, top of the key. Bounce pass, it goes to Hoffman. Back to Spirits. Ian, directing traffic with the left arm. Throws it down to Gachinski. They get it to Peter Carey. Colin Boudreau. A nice small movement. Shot clock, though, down the 12. Spirits between the circle. Stops. Jump pass down low. Tipped around. Carey comes up with it. Puts it up and in and a foul. They got Ryan Duclos on that one. He says, no, no. He's shaking, he's shaking his head, but he got it. Good ball movement by Frontier, but they're almost moving about a half a step ahead of where they should be, I think. A little too quick. And actually, they're going to give that foul call not to Ryan Duclos, who thought it was on him, but they're going to instead give it to Chase Novak. So a chance at another three-point play by Peter Carey. That one, though, is no good. And the ball run down, goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Turner's Falls. We have 7.13 to play here in the first half. Frontier leads by two. Their biggest lead was four. Turner's Falls' biggest lead early on was five at nine to four. Deep on the right side, Sanders, push pass up. Oh, Whiting, that was a pass that led him out of bounds. He tried to save it, ends up in the hands of Peter Carey. Spearns comes back quickly for the Hawks. And that pass actually was going to go to Hoffman. It was bad at town, actually, by Peter Carey going coast to coast, missing the lane, though, with Sanders. So a golden opportunity there for the Thunder, squandered. In a high post, Colin Boudreaux gets over to Hoffman. Hoffman, wrap around past Boudreaux. They get it down low to Carey, poked away. And this time, they are going to get the foul call on Turner's. Liam Driscoll can't believe it. They thought he had a steal. I think that's two, maybe three. I know it's at least two on him. Yeah, that's two personals. They're going to get them off the court. Anthony Peterson and John Fritz are going to come in. Keep in mind, Turner's only has three subs on the bench. Yep. So foul troubles, fouls are going to be an issue. And stamina as well, depending on what kind of game we have here. 
Turner Swells likes to run even with the shortened bench. In a high post, Colin Boudreaux swings it left side to Gachinski. They get it down low to Peter Carey. Nice move down low, gets the pass to Boudreaux. Colin puts it up and in. Second foul call against Chase Novak. I tell you, having Colin Boudreaux back adds such an extra dimension to Frontier's interior game. I mean, they were solid in there with Walkowitz and Carey, but having Boudreaux off the bench has been a real godsend for Frontier the second half of the season. Second free throw, no, uh, the free throw, by the way, was no good, but a put back by Peter Carey, and the lead is up to six. Biggest lead of the night now for the Hawks at 21 to 15. Anthony Peterson, a little over aggression on the defense there by Ian Spirits. I think that's who they got, yeah. Should be, yeah. Ian that's gets up hopping around that. He might have twisted an ankle or a knee. Well, Frontier's played good defense, and they've only committed two fouls in the half. Usually one, <laughs> usually one comes at the expense of the other. Either you're not playing great, Dean, you're not picking up the fouls, or you are, and you are. Deep on the left side, Sanders picked up by Spirits. Comes back, hands the ball to Chase Novak. Very dangerous shooter. Chase all the way through. Dipsy do dry. Puts it up and in. Well, when he decides to go to the basket, he's such a good ball player. 21 17. Frontier by four. Deep on the left side is Hoffman. Bounce pass down low to Boudreaux. He'll take a 17 footer. And that mid range jumper was no good. Rebound comes to Fritz. Marcus Sanders into the front court. All the way through, right side, Whiting, wide open three, right side, just rimmed out on him. Peter Carey clears the board, outlet on the right to Spirits. Long lead pass, batted down by Sanders, almost hit Ozzy in the head. <laughs> Boy, he, he went way up in the air to block that pass. Yeah, he's not that tall, but obviously he's about as, 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 as athletic as they come. All right, Mashon is back in, Robinson back in, Walkowitz. So now it looks like the, the original starting five is out there right now for Frontier. And this unit actually struggled early in the game. Donovan Hoffman throws up a runner in the paint and he got the bounce. Played by Dehoff, he's got six points. And the Frontier lead is six. 23-17, 5-15 to play here in the first half. Novak deep on the right, picked up by Hoffman. And a timeout called by Turner's Falls. We'll take a break, 5-13 to play here in the first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 23, Turner's Falls 17. This is Bear Country 95.3. So, Chris, Frontier looks like they've gotten their sea legs at this point, and really it's not so much the outside shooting, it's the big guys down low really getting it done tonight. Yeah, and, and it took a little while. I mean, they were trying to feed the paint in that first part of that first quarter unsuccessfully, and now it appears that they've, they've righted the ship somewhat. But right now it's a numbers game for Frontier. They're running out three and four subs at a time, and they're going to just run Turners into the ground in terms of numbers if this keeps up. So Turner's Falls will have 22 seconds on the shot clock as play resumes here. They trail by six. Again, they looked really good early on, but now it kind of feels like they're, they're just trying to hang on and keep this game competitive. Anthony Peterson's going to take it right in on Peter Carey. Stops, pops. That shot is no good. Carey skies for the rebound. Outlet pass on the left to Ethan Michon. Ethan takes it across on the right side. Stops at the top of the key. Passes left side to Hoffman out deep. Back to Michon, center court circle. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Robinson, the right elbow. Right baseline, Walkowitz tried to get it down low, tipped around, Michon has it, nope, lost it out of bounds. Pounds the basketball on the floor in frustration. And Turner's falls deep, provokes a turnover. Yeah, they're defending very, very well in this game and it's only a matter of time if they get a couple more stops and put some points on the board. Jaden Whiting gets it across. Over to Sanders, left side, Anthony Peterson's gonna take that three. Back rim no good, battle for the rebound is won by Chase Novak. New shot clock, four turners. They trail by six right now. Chase Novak, top of the key, excellent shooter when he's on. They go left baseline, down low to Peterson, puts up the shot partially blocked by Walkowitz. And the pass is coming over to you, Chris, out of bounds. Frontier throws it away. I was ready for it. <laughs> Don't knock over my water, whatever yeah. you do. Colin Boudreau is gonna come in, Peter Curie will take a seat. And Haneski is going to come back in for Ethan Michon. 4-11 to play here, second quarter. Frontier leading by six, 23 to 17. Sanders has it at the center court circle. In the high post, Peterson holding. Goes right side, Chase Novak, mid-range jumper from the right baseline, nothing but net. Yeah, he's got, he likes taking that shot from the elbow. 
23-19, and now it's Ben Barshevsky's turn to take a T.O. We'll take the break as well. 3.55 to play, first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier by four over Turners, 23-19. This is Bear Country, 95.3. Boys high school basketball game, Frontier Turners, longtime rivals, Frontier leading by four. I think the reason Ben Barashevsky called that timeout was because Chase Novak was just way too open on that shot. You could just tell a look in his face. They cannot leave that guy that open that often. Yeah, Chase will <laughs> he'll knock down that shot about 90% of the time, because you're right, Chris, there was not a body on him at all. Walkowitz deep on the left side. They work into the corner. Richter's back out there. Robinson will take a three. That's a little bit too strong. Comes down to Whiting. Jaden, he will take it across. Gets it over to Sanders, and they'll set up the offense. Deep on the left side, it's Fritz. Passes to Novak, NBA three, and that misses badly. The rebound by Peterson, no, but a foul on Boudreaux down low. Yeah, he definitely fouled AP on the way back up. Frontier, I think, is getting a little too cute with the passing. Too many skip passes. I think that they've got to, they really want to simplify this. It's not that difficult of a concept. Work it around, pound it inside. Two free throws for Anthony Peterson. First one is no good. And a correction, I misspoke. Colin Boudreaux was there defensively, and also down there was Wachowicz, who was actually on Wachowicz. So, Owen got his first free throw. Second one is no good. So, Frontier comes away with no points. Frontier continues with a four-point lead. Richter goes left baseline, passes out of a double team, and it was nearly stolen by Sanders. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier. 15 seconds on the shot clock. I'd almost rather see him take that shot. He had the baseline. He either gets a shot or draws the foul. Instead, he kicked it outside. Sometimes that's a part of the, the coaching staff during practice, during the week, saying, you know, extra pass, pass, pass the ball, and then... Air ball by Wachowicz on the right side, but put right back up and in by Richter. Positions everything on that one. Basically, it ends up being a pass, <laughs> an unintended pass, but they do get the deuce. Now they get the steal. Haneski, three on two break. Richter, right side of Robinson. Frontier, they settle back in. Boudreaux along the baseline, back to Richter, and wave off that three. Three second violation against Frontier. And Turner's Falls will get the ball back. Now, Boudreau had the right idea to kick it out to Richter. Just uh, one extra second in the paint for Walkowitz. Two and a half nope. minutes left to play. Boy, the ball's come over here. Been knocked out in front of us. I worked that stinking hockey game this week. <laughs> and everything's flying at me now. Everything's coming right at you. Yeah, I say us, really you. That's, I think, three or four times the ball's come right at you. Turner's Falls will keep it. Top of the key, Peterson. Left side goes to Whiting. Jaden. Foul line left, Peterson dumps it back down low to Whiting, off the glass it in, nice look there by Anthony Peterson. Frontier, they can't shake Turner's at this point. The lead is down to four, Wachowicz on the right side. It's a down low to Boudreaux, the cutter, Wachowicz puts it up, yes and one. Good job by Owen, didn't fully have control of the ball but was able to get the shot off. Again, good basketball intelligence there by Wachowicz. And the foul is going to be charged to Sanders. That's the first on Marcus, eighth team foul. And a chance at a three-point play by Wachowicz. Owen knocks down the free throw. And the lead is up to seven. This is the biggest of the night so far for Frontier. As Turners have the counter. Peterson, cross-court pass right side. Novak will take a three. Gets the kind bounce. That's a pretty good counter. 28-24. Thunder sticking around. Hineski, top of the key, bottled up there. Richter with a rainbow three. That one is no good. He's going to run down his own miss. Saved it, but saved it to Novak. Chase and a foul from behind, trying to poke it away was Colin Boudreaux. They're going to get him on the ticket. Did not have to do that, but I get what he was trying to do. So we have a minute 33 left here in the first half. 
Turner's with the ball. They trail by four. They led by four early on. At, uh, they led by five, I should say, at 9-4. The Frontier's had the better of it since then. Novak, deep on the left. Sealed off. Loses control. Gets it back. Spins around. Dumps it down low to Fritz. Rejected by Boudreaux, but a foul. It's a good defense there by Robinson and by Boudreaux. Although he did commit the foul. Very nearly a clean block. Looks like Collins going to come off here for Peter Carey. No, nope, he's going to stay out there for now, I believe. We'll see. There's gonna, definitely going to be a sub. There's three guys getting set to come in. I think he's coming off after the first shot. Yeah. Free throw is no good. Peter Carey, Donovan Hoffman, and Spirits come in. Boudreaux and Haneski. It's nice to be able to sub like four guys at once, three or four I guys know. at once. It is such a luxury. I mean... Second free throw by Fritz. That one is no good, so Turner's falls on oh. But Spirance ended up taking a dive on the floor. Looked like Superman there. Picks it up, gets it in the walk where it's the right side. Pull up, and that's a partial block by Turner's falls off that jumper. But Peter Carey gets it back. Feeds it to Walkowitz. The leaner, no good. A hard foul. That's going to get charged. Uh, Mr. Whiting. With some tough interior play by Frontier, not at all deterred, going strong up against the basket. And again, Owen Walkowitz at the line. He'll be shooting a two off to our left. That's going to be on Jaden Whiting, his first. First free throw is no good. Both teams, a uh, little uneven effort at the free throw line here. Chase Novak. And Anthony Peterson in for Turner's Falls. Ryan Duclos and John Fritz will sit. This has been a problem for Frontier the last three or four games. They just have not been making throws. Second freebie is good. Frontier by five. 29-24. Their biggest lead was seven. Novak. Over to Peterson. They break the press. Sanders gets it. Down low. Driscoll. A little Drop step in the paint, couldn't get it to fall though. Slaps his palms in frustration. Frontier comes back quickly. Peter Curie, top of the key three. No, in and out, no good. Tipped out to Novak. 38 seconds left here in the half. Novak takes the three, pulls it down, keeps the dribble going. Now he'll take the three and he buries it. Booyah! Look out. And they're back to within two at 29-27. Shot clock is off. 15 seconds left here on the half. Nice job by Turners. Spirits, top of the key. Left side to Richter, back to Spirits. Seven seconds, Hoffman, they go into the right corner. Richter for three, no good. Two seconds, one at the buzzer. Shot up, no good by Walkowitz. And that'll do it, a nice late surge by Turner's Falls, Frontier's lead is two at intermission. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Redhawks 29, the Turner's Falls Thunder 27. Stay tuned, the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno, your broadcast crew tonight. We're at halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium, South Deerfield. Frontier leading Turner's Falls at halftime by a score of 29 to 27. Great defense early on by Turner's Falls. They made things very difficult for the Red Hawks. They got out to a five point lead at one point, nine to four. Frontier finally got it going, Chris, but still some troubling signs for Frontier the way they're playing and Chase Novak showing up late in that half. Yeah, I, I think Frontier's moving the ball okay. 
but it's not been clean. And you know, in the first quarter, they were bogged down trying to feed the paint every five seconds, so they kick it outside, and they weren't making their threes. I think the Turners is playing defensively exactly what the, the way they should. They're making it very, very difficult to get any, any clean looks inside, and they're defending the perimeter very, very well. I think the X factor in this half, if Turners wants to win this game, is going to be Chase Novak. He drained a couple threes to end that half, got under within two. If he heats up in the second half and Frontier doesn't get more even distribution of the basketball and better scoring opportunities, this is going to get very interesting. Turner's Falls, you give them a lot of credit. Again, only suiting up eight guys here. A very, very short roster. They're used to it at this point. This is the kind of situation, the rotation that you see in the postseason. The benches always get a lot more shorter in the postseason. And basically, that's what it is right now for Turner's Falls at 5-8. and eight. These are all playoff games. They have to keep winning. This would be huge if they can somehow get it done here in Frontier's house. The only way you're going to be a team as deep and as quick as Frontier is with hustle points. And they've, they've definitely been hustling in the first half. I think Frontier, you know, they can run three, four subs out there. And I think that the numbers game benefits them. But if they can't put together a consistent movement of the basketball and get some good, easy buckets, then, and, and Turner's heats up, this gets very interesting. And this could very well, this is one that Turner's could take if Frontier doesn't wake up. 29-27 in favor of Frontier at halftime. We will take a timeout here on our halftime report. Chris will run the first half numbers when we come back. This is Bear Country 95.3. Back out here at Goodnow Gymnasium at the half. Frontier leads Turners by a count of 29 to 27. With Turners Falls Thunder leading all scorers in the game. Chase Novak with 12 points, including two three-pointers. Six points for Mike Sanders, four for Liam Brisk with three for Anthony Peterson. Two points for Jaden White for the Frontier Redhawks. Peter Perry has 10 points. Six for Donovan Hoffman. Four each for Colin Goudreau. And Owen Walkowitz. A three-pointer for Brett Robinson. And two points for Sean Richter. 29-27 and a half. Second half action is next. This is Bear Country 95.3. All right, Frontier with the ball. A two-point lead as we begin the third quarter here. Ethan Michon gets the inbounds pass from Donovan Hoffman. The Hawks now moving to the basket off on our right. Walkowitz deep in the right corner. Where right to the lane, turn around the jumper by Peter Carey, no good. Chase Novak, he'll run it up on the right side. Gets it right back from Jaden Whiting. Now they'll go to Sanders between the circles. Bounce pass right side to Driscoll. Liam gives it up. Shot clock at 15. Anthony Peterson foul line right. His jumper gets the kind bounce. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> he bounced right up there. Fell through. And looky here. We're right back where we started. Tie game. 29 all. Robinson on the right. Rockowitz in the right corner. Lefty dribble. Skip pass right side. Mashon quick passing. Donovan Hoffman runs into a wall. Offensive foul on Hoffman, drawn by Liam Driscoll. Yep, and that, and that was great. Well done by Driscoll. He took a hard hit, bounces back up. I tell you, Turner's is fired up. And the Frontier six man, they're letting Liam Driscoll have it. They're kind of mocking him. I I like I like the uh, fire though that that kid plays with. No no question. Brendan's the same way. Driscoll down low gets rejected by Peter Carey, and now the student section letting him hear about that. Brendan's a little bit quieter, I think, than Liam. Liam really wears his heart on his sleeve out there, for sure. He inbounds the ball. Liam has it. He's blocked again. Gives it up. Turner's falls with a new shot clock. Peterson on the right side. Ball knocked out of bounds off Donovan Hoffman. No, it is off of Turner's. Yeah, nice went play there went, by Donovan. Went through Whiting's hands, and he was well defended by Donovan. So it'll be Frontier ball, 29 all, a minute in to the third quarter here. Ethan Michon and our reach in foul called against Turner's as he was going to take it right to the rack. Sanders, I think. Yeah, or Whiting. Or maybe someone else. That's no, Whiting, you're right. That was on Jaden. That's his second personal first team foul this half against Turner's Falls. Ethan Michon will inbound on the baseline right. Tipped out of bounds. And it will stay with Frontier. Oh, I don't know. Anthony Peterson. Now the, the officials, they're going to make sure they get this right. One official had it off of Turner's. The other one had it off of the Hawks. And I the, thought it was off Frontier. They're still discussing. They're either talking about possession or will Bolton testify. One, uh, one of oh, the God. <laughs> Please don't bring that up. Oh, I'm I was, sorry. I was having a good time until then. 
Uh, uh, my point is, is that this is the longest deliberation. <laughs> okay, that, right. That's where I was going with that. You, I, usually, a guy I, will come over and say, "Hey, I had a good look at that. We're going the other way." And it will be Turner's Falls yeah, basketball. I mean, that's the right call. All right. <laughs> no more politics tonight. Thank I promise you. you. Please. <laughs> All right. They throw the ball up on the right side. Deep in the right corner, it goes to Whiting. Now uh, they swing it left side, Bill back, fakes the pass in the corner. Trying to get a screen, he'll take it left of the lane, puts it up off the window and in. Good job by, no by uh, Novak, but they're not, they're definitely jumping out on him. He's not gonna get any clean looks at three anymore. Turner's Falls has reclaimed the lead now. 31-29, the ball is tipped, bodies flying everywhere. Turner's Falls comes up with it. Here come the Thunder. Left side pass, Novak, top of the key. Backs it out, working on Hoffman. Takes it through a double team. Reaching foul called against Frontier. Yep, and Donovan thought he got a clean block, but no, he definitely got some hand on there. Donovan says, was that on me? And the official didn't say anything, but it was on him. Two personal fouls on him. Anthony Peterson, bounce pass on the right side to Novak. Novak gave them a big boost off the bench. In the second quarter, he'll take a three here. That is good. What did I tell you? Timeout Frontier. 5.53 to play here. Third quarter on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Turner's Falls 34, Frontier 29. This is Bear Country 95.3. Chase Novak was talking a little trash to the sixth man, Frontier, on the way to the bench. And I, I, I'm not going to say I don't like the swagger, but if he, <laughs> if he throws up a brick, the roof is going to come off this place. Yeah, it will. You'll never hear the end of it. But credit where it's due, a 7-0 run to begin the second half for Turner. They took a two-point deficit at halftime up to a five-point lead, matching their biggest of the night. They led 9-4 early. Now it's 34-29. And that's a kick on Turner, so a new shot clock for the Red Hawks. They're trying to free, they're trying to free carry in the high post. He's well covered. Richter, that pass is tipped away by Whiting out of bounds. They'll go back to Frontier, plenty of time to shoot. But again, we have played two minutes and 26 seconds here in the third quarter with zero points for the Hawks. Hineski, top of the key. Bounce pass left side to Hoffman. Donovan gets it back to Hineski. Right side to Richter. Turner Spall's waiting for him. Jump pass left side. Shot clock down to 12. Hineski through a double team. Richter, he'll take a three. That is short, no good, and it comes down to Turner's. They're looking to run. Sanders. Carey. And what do we get? It, Carey bumped him on the way through. Yep. Peter Carey with a little bump, and that is the only his first. third team foul this half against Frontier, so a new shot clock. But that actually slowed down a fast break by the Thunder. Novak throws on the backcourt to Sanders. Turner's falls will bring it up. They set up Driscoll on the left side. Holding on the right side is Whiting. Now they work it. Liam Driscoll bounce pass down low. Whiting, the cutter back to Driscoll, oh. and it ends up on top of the backboard. That shot, I believe, was altered, or he just lost it on the way yeah, up. Yeah, he went up for the shot, but it spun off of his fingertips and hit the top of the support. So no go for Liam. Too bad. Tough break. Right, we are nearly halfway through the third here, and Frontier has not scored. Hoffman. On the right side, Turner's Falls. They're catching another, they're going, they've gone to another oh. gear here defensively. I mean, they're swarming right now. Donovan Hoffman, he's blocked by Peterson to the paint, but he was stumbling backwards with the ball, and they're gonna call him with a uh, travel. Well, they're gonna call Peterson for the travel. Right. Yeah, and a lot of contact inside. That could have been an offensive foul, but they call a travel instead. And Eski will inbound on the baseline. Peter Carey, I don't think he's touched the ball offensively in this half. Colin Boudreau finally scores down low. A little blind shot up there. 34-31, Turners by three. And now, Frontier defensively, look, they have a little spring in their stuff now that they're off the schneid. Chase Novak fakes the three, tried to feed it to Driscoll, tipped away. But, uh, oh. Nice dish by Sanders, but a nice block by Boudreau down low on Whiting. Good job by Colin to get back on D. Hoffman, between the circles, gets it back to Hineski. Stops at the top of the key. Deep on the left, Hoffman. Down low, Peter Carey, working on Peterson. Reverse oh. lane is good. That was pretty. 
He was very decisive. He just made his move, didn't think about it, just did it. Pretty much unstoppable. Frontier now back with a point. 34-33, 4 0 run after a 7 0 run to start the half. Another three, though, by Novak from the left side. Four threes in this game. 37 33, Turners by four. 3 33 to play in the third. Hoffman deep on the left, fakes the three. Richter on the right. Down low to Carey on the right baseline. Top of the key, Richter. Left corner, Hoffman for three, short. Carey, the rebound, had it, lost it, got it back. Gets it down low to Richter. And does not get the bounce. Tip follow by Boudreaux and a foul. I tell you, I love calling Boudreaux's game lately. That was just all hustle, all toughness, and a chance for a three-point play. And the sixth man, which was kind of lulled into complacency, and frankly, they were pretty quiet when the game started. Now they're getting fired up, in part because they've been fired up by some of these Turner's Falls guys, namely Chase Novak. Free throw is good. Turner's lead is down the one, and Gary Mullins wants to call a timeout, and he does so. We'll take a break. 3-11 to play, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Turner's Falls 37, Frontier 36 on Bear Country 95.3. Well, just like that, how, how quickly fortunes can swing when you get a couple of hot hands. Colin Boudreaux right now helping keep Frontier with the Turner's Falls Thunder with a couple of key buckets there in a three-point play. So Turner's Falls will have the ball. They will inbound right near the scores table. Jaden Whiting will throw in, gets it into Marcus Sanders. Sanders has it at the center court circle, calls out the set play. Neske is guarding him, pass on the right side to Chase Novak. Chase, they jump out on him, and he carried the basketball. And now he's gonna hear from the sixth man. Well, Lima Tannen's up. I, I, don't think, I don't think they agree with the call. Yeah, Mully and Jay. Uh, it was really more Jay was really giving it to the official. And the official comes by and says, all right, guys, back into the coaching box, you two. <laughs> In the right corner, Colin Boudreau. Down low to Peter Carey. Puts it up, no good. Hoffman the rebound, no foul. Uh -oh. And Hoffman and Peterson go nose to nose. The Turner's game against Greenfield last week got extremely physical. And there was... A little bit of rough action during the, during the handshake line. Now cooler heads are prevailing. But Donovan Hoffman will go to the line for two free throws here. Well, more importantly, that's three fouls on Anthony Peterson. Yeah, and with apologies to the Driscoll brothers and, and Sanders and even Chase Novak, the one guy that they absolutely cannot lose to fouls is Anthony Peterson. He's going to sit right now. Ryan Duclos is going to come in. And so will Brendan Driscoll. So Peterson's going to sit. And Novak's got three as well. Yeah, he may sit, maybe not for the rest of the, maybe not the rest of the quarter, 247, but he's gonna have to sit for a bit here. Hoffman made the first to tie it, and he misses the second, Whoa. and a foul on Turner's falls on that rebound is hitting the deck was Peter Carey. And it'll be a frontier possession on that foul. I don't know if it's Driscoll or Duclos who got called. It's Driscoll, so that's three on him. That's three on Liam. So, yeah, I mean, we talked about that right at the top of the show. That, that's the easy talking point with Turner's Falls basketball this year. No depth, there are very little, I should say. Very little depth. Richter for three, right side. Air ball, no good. And the rebound taken by Driscoll in a and it goes off of Driscoll. I yeah. thought they were going to call a foul call on Colin Boudreaux, but it was actually a great play by Colin. Well, the Turner's bench is absolutely furious right now. Yeah, Gary Mullins is saying, what the heck is going on out here? Sean Crowell and Jay Limitini and the assistants. And they have, a, they have similar looks on their face. Good opportunity, though, right here for Frontier with Peterson on the bench. Richter. Back to Colin Boudreaux, cross-court pass right side, Hoffman to the line, to the lane, loops it over to Carey. Shot clock down to 14. Hoffman, deep on the left. High pass to Boudreaux, shot clock winding down. Haneski, and a three-point bomb put up 
No good by Hoffman as the shot clock was winding down. That was not a good possession by the Hawks. Backing it out now. Sanders has it center court circle. This is going to be a rock fight down the stretch, Jeff, I think. 37 all. Peterson and Novak on the bench for Turner's. Arguably their two best players. Coming all the way through, Brendan Driscoll with the lefty lean in. Great play by Driscoll. Turner's 39, Frontier 37. Top of the key, Hineski. Bounce pass left side to Hoffman. They work it right side now to Richter. Three point bomb put up, no good. Rebound comes to Driscoll. That's Liam Driscoll playing with three fouls. Sanders walks it across. Brett Robinson getting set to check in for the Frontier Red Hawks. Ian Spearance as well. On the right side, Brendan Driscoll. Pull up jumper is good! <laughs> oh man, he's come to play. They all have. Turner's 41, Frontier 37. A minute left here in the third. Right side, Richter. Top of the key, Hineski. Hoffman. Boudreau down low to Carey. Triple team, turn, shoots. Gets the roll. Just spun in for him. Turners by two, 41-39, 45 seconds to play. Whoa. And play's getting really rough near the top of the key, and they're gonna get a moving <laughs> pick set by Ryan Duclos there. Foul on him. Well, he As and he, he and Hineski were getting into it. Yeah, they really were, and, and Hineski's gonna come out. I think they call Hineski for that foul. I thought they put up two, yeah, you're no, it's Hineski. Yeah, it's on Hineski, 2-3. I thought I, they put up two. Oh. I thought it was on Hineski because he was the one that was shuffling. Yeah. And back into the lineup for Turners for the last 38 seconds of this third quarter with three fouls each, Chase Novak and Anthony Peterson. Sanders, top of the key, right side Anthony Peterson. Back to Sanders, backs it out, setting the screen. Robinson, though, fights through it. On the right side, they work into the corner to Novak. Shot clock down at 12. Chase Novak, deep on the right. Backs it out, crossover dribble, and a foul on Ian Spirits. As the shot clock was winding down. Ian had to foul him. He, he, was, he flat out beat him to the outside. So Ian had to foul him to stop the clock. Shot clock is off. 16.1 seconds left here in the quarter. Into Novak. He'll take a three. Front rim, no. Rebound comes down to Frontier. Hoffman now. They can settle for one shot if they want. Six seconds left. Hoffman directing track. It. Looking for Robinson. Left side, Ian Spirance. He'll take a three at the buzzer. No good. End of three here in South Deerfield. An upset alert has been issued. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Turners falls 41, Frontier 39. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Anybody's game right now going into the fourth quarter. Turner's by two. And we'll see if uh, they can continue to solve the Frontier Red Hawks. It's been a good game, but it's going to be a rock fight down the stretch. Stay tuned. 
Well, Boudreaux and Carey are both out there for Frontier, and you got Peterson out there with three fouls. I will be stunned if Frontier offensively does a lot of dilly-dallying out around the three-point line, unless the shot's there. I would really go right after Anthony Peterson. Try to get him in more foul trouble and ideally get him out of the game. Here comes Brendan Driscoll, left side. He went up with the left hand and that shot was way off. Donovan Hoffman has it. See where they go. Brett Robinson, Hoffman on the right side. They go down low and passing out of a double team. Carey throws it away. Jaden Whiting will take it across for the Thunder. Left side, Novak wide open for three. He knew it was off and he ran in to try to get his own rebound. Could not do so. Spirance comes back quickly for Frontier. Down the carry and a foul on Peterson and a bucket. And that's exactly, Chris, what they wanted to do. Yeah. You could almost see that setting up and there's nothing Peterson could do. He had to go up and try and defend it, but he bumped Carey. This is Carey's second or third three-point play of this game, and it's four big fouls on Anthony Peterson. With 7.20 to play, free throw is up. It is good. Mully is going to leave him out there at this point. Doesn't have that much of a choice. I mean, he is, he is their best player, I would say. Certainly the most consistent over the course of this season. Sanders has it on the right wing. Top of the key, Peterson. He'll take an 18-foot J. It is good. Just inside the line. And Turner's falls. 43-42 over Frontier. Right side, Hoffman fakes the three. A high pass way over the head of Colin Boudreaux. Colin looked up said, Donovan, where was that one going? That was an unprovoked turnover. They've had a few turnovers because of Turner's, but that one was all on Frontier. Sanders, right side pass, Whiting. Jaden puts it to the floor. Top of the key, Peterson, back on the right side. Brendan Driscoll comes in, throws up an off-balance shot, and that's going to go out of bounds, no good. All right, Liam Driscoll will come in for his brother. Turners by one, 43-42, 6.25 to play here in the third. Spirits. Takes it across, top of the key. Feeds the paint, they kick it left side, Robinson back on the right, Spirits, Hoffman, nice touch pass, beautiful ball movement, the leaner by Carey is good, that was awesome. That's the best passing we've seen from Frontier all night. That was beautiful. All the way through, Chase Novak, finger roll, gets the bucket and a foul, what a play. Well, Novak, absolutely fearless, going in on Boudreau, straight ahead, and just got it to fall. And Novak with a chance at a three-point play. Turner's falls. And that's three fouls on Colin Boudreaux, by the way. That will bear watching. He's heard it from the crowd. He, he put that target right on his back. Free throw is no good. Turner's by one, 43-44. Spirits passes batted down. Look how high Sanders got up. Three on one break. Whiting, shuffle pass. Driscoll puts it up and in. Beautiful passing, very unselfish by Whiting. 47-44, Turner's oh. by three. Hoffman nearly traveled. I think he did. That's a kick on Turner's. So it'll go from 19 seconds to shoot to a fresh shot clock. But I'll tell you what, Frontier may still get the win, but Turner's Falls is making them earn it big time. Spirits up top. Right baseline, it's Carey. He will go baseline and dribbled it off his leg out of bounds. It'll go back to Turner's Falls. Timeout called by Frontier. They got a lot to talk about right now. And the Turner's crowd now making some noise here. We'll step aside for a 30 second break. 5.25 to play in this one. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Turner's 47, Frontier 44 on Bear Country 95.3. Now we will see how Frontier comes up with. I'm sure Ben Barshevsky's comments were probably pretty pointed in that huddle during the timeout. Sanders, Novak has it up top. Gets a screen, left of the lane, into a triple team, doesn't matter, hits the bucket anyway. The X factor strikes again. And for the third time tonight, Frontier trailing Turners by five. Paneski, right side to Hoffman. Donovan Hoffman, again, they're trying to get it down low. They've got four on Peterson. 
He only has one more to give. Left side, that's a three-point bomb put up by Richter, and he drains it. Richter has not been hot tonight, but that was a very timely three. 49-47, Turner's by two. 4.36 to play in regulation. Sanders, center court circle. Loops the pass, Whiting on the right side. To Novak. Chase pulls it back. Tricky dribbling. Pulls it back, 4-3. Front rim, no good. Well defended, by the way. And now, Frontier with a chance to tie or take the lead themselves. Richter on the right, they jump out on him. Haneski stops top of the key. Looking to get rid of it. He's having some trouble. Nearly a five-second call. Finally got it to Boudreaux. Left corner to Hoffman. Hoffman down low. Coming through. Peter Carey, the leaner is good. Peterson was there, but he really couldn't do much. Skyhook. We're tied at 49. They need to continue to do that if they can. Sanders, top of the key. Nice move. Kicks it. Left side, Jaden Whiting. Passes over. Driscoll. Anthony Peterson with a deep... Jumper, that is no good. Boudreaux clears the board. Gets on the left side to Donovan Hoffman. They can take the lead now. Down low, Boudreaux turns, shoots, went for the bank, no good. Peter carry the rebound, and they take it back out again. Richter on the right wing, tied at 49. Three and a half to play in this one. Left side, Hoffman. Skip pass right side, Richter. Bounce pass right baseline to carry. Feeds the lane, Boudreaux puts it up, off the window and in. What a ball player he's become. Colin Boudreaux's a money player. 51-49, Frontier by two. They are on. 7-0 run. Here comes Sanders, tricky dribbles, wave off that bucket, foul on the floor before that. That's going to go on Haneski. That's two on him. Fifth, uh, rather seventh team foul this half, so we are into the one and one. This is where throws become crucial in a tight game like this. Both teams have been so-so from the line. This is huge. Front end of the one and one is good. I dare say he's rarely ever inaccurate from the free throw line. Let's see if I jinxed him, but. One more for Marcus Sanders. Let's that fly, perfect. We are tied again at 51, three minutes to play in the basketball game. Buckle up everybody. Hoffman deep on the left. Gets it to Haneski. Had to sprint into the front court to provide to uh, prevent a backcourt. He has it. Right side to Richter. Cross court pass. Hoffman left side. Down low to Carey. Peterson right there. They go to Boudreaux. Free and clear lane to the bucket and he hits. 53-51 Frontier. Yeah, the foul trouble is a big problem for Turners. They, they can put a body there, but they can't do much more than that without risking Peterson fouling out of the game. And a timeout called by Turners. 2.28 to play. They'll have 19 to shoot when we come back. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 53, Turners 51. This is Bear Country 95.3. Well, 2.28 to go. Anybody's game still. Frontier with a slim two-point lead. But the big story is not so much the numbers on the scoreboard as much as the foul numbers. Anthony Peterson with four. And that, that situation allows Frontier to move the ball inside to Boudreaux and carry and risk AP fouling out. Turners falls and bounds it. 19 seconds on the shot clock. They trail by two after those two free throws. By Sanders, Marcus has it right now, right of the lane. Little fadeaway, Jay, short. Rebound taken down by Carey, gets it to Haneski. 2.15 to play, Frontier with the ball, they lead by two. Haneski, head of the circle. Bounce pass over to Richter. Richter throws a high pass over to Hoffman on the right side, Donovan. Gets it back top of the key, gets it back. Ooh, he wanted to take that three, gives it up. Loops it down low, high to Carey, tipped out of bounds. It's off of Peter. Nice job of playing defense without committing the foul by AP. Yeah, very, very gingerly, but it was a good idea. It just did not get executed very well. Two minutes to play. A two-point lead for Frontier. Turners on the attack. Sanders, who nearly lost it behind his back, got it to Novak. Gets a screen. Chase. Skip pass left side. Comes down. Anthony Peterson. Back to Sanders. Working a pick and roll. Shuffle pass back. Peterson for three in the lead. It is no good. Whiting gets the rebound. Up fakes. Back to Anthony Peterson. May have taken a step. He did. 
Got away with that, and now Anthony says, slow it down, and Sanders will. I do think he took a one extra step. 15 to shoot. Again, Turner's trailing by two. Sanders spins away. Chase Novak, top of the key. Carey jumps out on him. This is Chase on the left side. Bottled up, six seconds left. Off balance shot, no good by Sanders. Comes down the front tier. A minute to play, they lead by two. Someone now from Frontier, they're looking to deliver a dagger right here. This is Richter over on the left side. Tineski, Donovan Hoffman, top of the key to Richter on the right. Back to Hoffman, top of the key, high post. Boudreaux, left side, Tineski to get it down low to Carey. The cutter, nice pass, Richter, the big shot is good. Beautiful movement. And timeout called by Frontier with 37.1 seconds left. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 55, Turner's 51. This is Bear Country 95.3. That worked out perfectly, Chris, for Frontier. They ran some clock down, and they still got the two. Yeah, I, I, mean, I would have said maybe Turner's wanted to foul somebody, but I think uh, at this point, you know, you got 38 seconds left. It's not an impossible situation for the Thunder, but it's not going to be easy. It's a four-point lead now, a two-possession game. Turner's Falls will have the ball. They'll have to go the length of the court. Only 37.1 seconds, so 7.1 second differential. Shot clock to game clock. The possession arrow, by the way, favors Frontier. And Turner's Falls, they have one more foul to give before they would send Frontier to the line. So that also helps out the Red Hawks. They inbound it to Sanders. They don't need a three, obviously, here. They only trail by four. On the right side, Brendan Driscoll holding don't, there. Don't waste too much time. As on the right side, Anthony Peterson takes a deep three. It is good. And a timeout called by Turner's. <laughs> Big deep three by Anthony Peterson, and it's a one-point game. <laughs> Take a 30-second timeout here. 20.8 seconds left in the game. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 55, Turner's 54 on Bear Country 95.3. We are down to 20 seconds and change. Let me see, they're gonna post the current time on the scoreboard. I believe yeah, 20.8 seconds left. Frontier with the ball. Turner's Falls will come to meet them defensively. One point game, so they're gonna try to go for a steal. They have one foul to give, so they're not gonna send Frontier to the line immediately. There's only uh, five fouls, in fact. They go for a steal, and then a slap foul called against Sanders. 18.1 seconds left. Now, that was a 16 foul, so now the next foul will send Frontier to the line one and one. Nearly a steal, and the ball was passed out of bounds. No, they're saying, they're, the Turner's Falls kids are saying that Hoffman caught the ball and went out of bounds, that it should be Turner's did. Falls ball. I think he did. The wow. Turner's crowd is not happy. The foul is on Sanders. <laughs> Anthony Peterson looking over at us. I mean, we're, we're innocent bystanders here. We're here just to call the game, but from what I saw, Chris, it looked as though the ball was caught by Hoffman, and uh, then he went out of bounds. It's what it looked like to me, too. But we are into the one and one. At worst, for Turner's, he makes two, and it's still a one-possession game. Big free throws here, though. Front end of the one and one with 16.8 seconds left, a one-point lead for Frontier. The free throw's no good, but the rebound comes. Now they got to foul quickly, and Peterson commits the foul, and that means he's done. He had no choice, he yeah. had to commit the foul. He goes right to the bench. And the Frontier crowd waving him out of the game. Uh, he's, he's talking it. Yeah, he's yeah, he better be, and the officials are not going to, I mean, the, the, they're going to try very hard not to they issue got, any technical foul in this situation. They've got to replace him. It's going to be Liam Driscoll will check in. Here's the situation, 13.1 seconds left in the game. Frontier leads by one, 55-54.
It's Richter at the line. And he is shooting one and one. Front end is on the way. It is good. That makes it a two point game, 56 to 54. With a make here, Turner's Falls will have no choice but to go for a game tying three. And you've got the guy out there to do it in Chase Novak. Second freebie is up. That is good as well. Turner's will call a timeout. We'll step aside very quickly here. 13.2 seconds left. Frontier by three, 57 54 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Okay, we're back here at Goodno Gymnasium. 13 seconds left in the game. Turner's Falls will have the ball. They will have to go the full 94. They need a three to tie the game and send it into overtime. So obviously if you're Frontier, let's see, Frontier has committed seven fouls. So yeah, they don't have any, any fouls to give. But with a three-point lead, we'll see, we'll see how Ben Barshevsky plays it here. Obviously they will Send the D out to the perimeter. Anything down low, they really won't contest it very hard at all. Novak will throw in Anthony Peterson on the bench, having just fouled out. Novak into Sanders, runs it up. 10 seconds left, has it on the right side. All the way through, right side. Liam, Dr uh, Brendan Driscoll for three, it's blocked. The putback by Sanders, no, tipped it up again. And Liam Driscoll hits, but the time is gonna run out. Turner's needed the three. They wanted a foul call on that last bucket. They're not gonna get it, and Frontier escapes by one point. Final score, Frontier Red Hawks 57. The Turner's Falls Thunder 56. Stay tuned, the post-game show coming up, including the Helena Chemical High School Basketball Player of the Game. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. The Frontier Red Hawks escape at home against the Turner's Falls Thunder by a single point. 57-56 is our final score. Jeff and Chris courtside, Dave Reno in our Greenfield Studios. What a ball game here tonight, Chris. Turner's Falls under man for sure, giving Frontier everything and then some, but for Frontier, the bigs were big tonight. Yeah, I think escape is the, is the proper word to use to describe this win. It wasn't Frontier's most even performance of the season, but it is a W, and credit Turner's Falls Thunder for coming in here. Upset-minded, again, as you mentioned, on the tournament bubble, and they played a strong game and probably played Frontier as strong as any team has in the Hampshire League this season. But you're absolutely right. The Bigs came to play inside Peter Carey. A tremendous performance by Colin Boudreau, I thought. And uh, it's all around, I think, interior-wise, a pretty solid performance. But they did not make it easy. Turner's Falls did not make it easy for Frontier inside or outside uh, with the basketball. And Frontier didn't help themselves that much at times, but it was enough for a win. A, a win by one point is as good as a win by 40. For those of you listening that weren't with us at the start of the game, Chase Novak did not start uh, tonight for the Turner's Falls Thunder. Both Driscoll brothers did start. They both played well, but a big boost off the bench by uh, for Chase Novak. He nearly got them the win here on the road. Yeah, I told you at halftime, I said, he's going to be the X factor in the second half. He ended up with 12 points in the second half, 24 for the game to lead all scorers. Um, Anthony Peterson hit a key three at the end to get them to within a, a bucket 
uh, just at the end, it was just, it was, I think Frontier's depth and, and their, their bench play and the, the variety of combinations that Ben Baruszewski could put out on the floor at any given time, I think it was a numbers game. That made it tough for Turner's Falls coming in, but credit Thunder for coming in here, sticking their head in the lion's mouth and very nearly coming away with a big upset win. 57-56 is our final score. Plenty of candidates for Helen, the chemical player of the game, but we finally did narrow it down. We will reveal the winner in just a minute, but Chris, I'll have you run the final numbers here. Okay, for the Thunder, leading all scorers, as I mentioned, Chase Novak with 24 points, eight for Liam Driscoll, eight for Marcus Sanders, 10 for Anthony Peterson, including a big three at the end, four for Brendan Driscoll, and a solid performance defensively as well, and two points for Jaden Whiting. For the Frontier Redhawks, Peter Carey with 21 points to lead his team, 13 for Colin Boudreau, nine for Sean Richter, came on strong at the end, seven for Donovan Hoffman, four for Owen Walkowitz, and a three-pointer for Brett Robinson. 57-56 is the final score. All right, before we wrap it up here, Helen, a chemical player of the game. And uh, as I mentioned, the bigs truly were big tonight. And uh, one of them actually is going to come away with that T-shirt. Yeah, Colin Boudreaux, I think, you know, ordinarily you might think Peter Carey with the 21 points. Yep. But I really think in terms of key plays and key moments, Colin Boudreaux uh, made some tremendous, tremendous plays, especially in the second half at the very end couple of key buckets at the end, some good defensive plays. And again, I think you could give it to either one of them, but I think you, in this case, Colin Boudreaux was more of an impact, and he gets the t-shirt tonight. All right, so congratulations to Frontier Regionals Colin Boudreaux. He is the Helena Chemical Player of the Game in Frontier's 57-56 victory over the Turner's Falls Thunder. So the Frontier train keeps on a chugging, and for Turner's Falls now, nine losses on the season. And uh, that bubble, it's not burst, but it's getting a little close. But again, a great effort here tonight on the road at Frontier, losing by just one. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight. Have a great night in bear country, everyone.